Hello, my name is King Mister, and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something really special. It's a video that I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and I've only decided to do now because why not? But anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be trying to recreate my very first base in Minecraft. Note, this is only a base that I remember. I don't remember any bases I had before this one. There's one problem with making this base. I have to make it completely from memory. Because this base was made around 10 plus years ago. So to put it in perspective, I built the base around mid-2012 to early 2013. And the thing is, there's no pictures of it, there's no screenshots of it. This was made on the Xbox, by the way, so there was no screenshots. At least I don't think. So basically, I have to rebuild this space from memory. But I have a pretty okay memory, so I should be able to recreate it a little bit. I'm gonna build this base in Minecraft 1.0 because at the time of building the base, that was the closest Xbox 360 was close to Java Edition. And after I built the base in 1.0, I'm gonna try to make it how I would make it nowadays with my building skill. Anyways, let's get right into the video. We're in Minecraft 1.0. And from what I remember of the base, I specifically built it in a swamp intersecting with an oak forest. And guess where I spawned? Right in a swamp. And please ignore my skin. I'm not in my beautiful skin. Unfortunately, I'm in Steve, but that's okay. Okay, Editor King Monsieur here. I just noticed I probably should have chosen a better choice of words when describing what skin I was in. But anyways, let's go back to the video. This is similar to what would have been made back in like 2012. Let's build the base. Oh, quick intercept here. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe so that way you don't miss any uploads from me. Also click the notification bell so you know when I upload and check out my socials down below. I've got Instagram, Twitter, all the sites. So please check it out down below in the description. Let's get right back in the video. I finished the base. Before I go into 1.19 and change it up a little bit, I'm gonna do a tour of the base as I remember it from 10 years ago. Here's the base. We start out over here with a brick tree house. Don't ask me why I did it. I mean, I guess it could be done in real life, but I don't know if it would be probable. I didn't know that you probably shouldn't build tree houses out of bricks. I guess at the time, my favorite block, block was bricks. From what I remember, this was supposed to be a garage. In fact, it might have even been a bit longer here. But then again, this was 10 years ago, so I don't remember. This goes into a hallway where the house is basically cut in half. Back 10 years ago, I remember there was this sort of bug that dogs would constantly attack cats, even if you didn't hit the cat. Of course, I had to avoid that happening. I put the cats and the dogs in different parts of the house just to keep them separate so that way the dog wouldn't kill my cat. Another issue is I forgot that cats were introduced in Minecraft 1.2.1 and I built this in 1.0 so there's no cats. There's dogs but this is the first room in here. I remember this was supposed to be a kitchen of some kind. I think I used to have my dogs here or in that treehouse but I'm not exactly sure but I don't remember what the kitchen looked like at all. And of course I had a fireplace. And we have this room, which is where the cats were. And yes, I know 
You're probably asking, why do the cats get a bigger part of the house than the dogs? Isn't that discrimination? Let's just say younger me just did not know how big my house actually was. So I thought it was pretty equal size for the dogs and the cats. So that's why the cats have a bigger side of the house than the dogs because younger me just didn't think. There was a staircase, I remember, and then this balcony edge. I think I used to have my bed here, and I had glowstone as a light source, because at the time I just did not use torches. I just used glowstone, because I thought that was the brightest block in the game. I mean, I wasn't wrong. I wasn't too right either. And so, I remember there had to be some way to get inside the treehouse, so I built this. I don't even know if this was actually here, but then again, at the time, I used to play purely creative mode and I could just fly up here. No problem. In fact, I actually didn't start playing survival mode, mainly, until December of 2018. Even then, for a while, I was still switching between creative and survival. It was only around... 2019 when I finally started playing survival purely, but for quite a while, I just played in creative. So I remember either both sides of the hallway or this side of the hallway had a window, glass, and it had a glass ceiling. I remember that clearly. That's the end of the tour inside this house. So now we're going to see the outside. I don't remember exactly what the tree landscape looked like. I decided to put trees here. Just to somewhat remember. Do y'all see this? This right here? What was younger me thinking? Why would I build, build a bait? Buy a older roof. That would take much longer to make. Because of how awkward stairs are. Why, why did I do this? Why did I do this when I was a kid? I don't understand. Over here, we've got a painting wall. I don't know why, but I just like having painting, having all the paintings on a wall back in the day. This is a painting wall. Couldn't get every painting because it was being frustrating. I guess it's fine. And at the back of my base, I remember I had candy canes because Christmas was my favorite holiday. At the time, it still is. I love the family aspect of it nowadays. But back when I was a kid, I loved it for different reasons. This is something I actually wouldn't mind bringing back. When I was a kid, I used to always like putting secret railroads at the back of my base. I don't know why I did it, but I did. I love Steve for the nostalgia, but I do like my skin better. Let's go into 1.19 and recreate the space. And there's going to be a lot of changes. So that's what I'm going to do. See you all when I'm done recreating the base. And I really hope you all enjoy the recreation. I hope I enjoy it too. Anyways, see you then. finished making my first base how i would build it nowadays and i'm super excited i put so much detail into this recreation that it is slightly laggy without any further ado let's show you what i've made this is my first base recreated how i would build it nowadays over here we've got a tree house that's a proper tree house now it's all like this a little hideout over here we've got a covering over the front door and i decided to close off this garage just because i didn't know what else to do with it so i closed it off but this is the front door and you enter inside this is supposed to be a pot for like umbrellas this is supposed to be a place where you put your shoes and your coat and over here we've got a kitchen and dining room setup. We then got a living room as well. Got a little sofa, and a fireplace, and 
Over here is the bedroom. Don't mind the wardrobe. I don't know how to get rid of them. Over here we have the bed and the desk and a chest of drawers. Everything you need in a bedroom. Up here, there wasn't enough room to fit much else. Another fireplace. And this is the bathroom with a bathtub and everything. Even a toilet as well. Kind of open a little bit, eh? Okay. Now let's head outside. Over here, we've got a little garden slash farm. There's some lingonberries, some more berries, carrots, potatoes, beetroots, celery, tomatoes, and onions, the essentials. And then over here, we've got the backyard with flowers, a little hangout area, a little pond, and a tree with a swing on it. And then over here, we've got a garden shed. But this shed has a secret. This is a totally non-conspicuous button. What's the lead to? It leads to under here. This is a subway station. And then here's the railroad, which goes pretty far back. But this was largely for effects. It doesn't go very far. It goes all the way over there. But I think it's a nice detail. Close that up. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video i made today i spent so much time detailing this recreation i'm so glad i was finally able to make my first base in minecraft after like 10 years anyways you also may have noticed i got rid of the gallery wall it's actually in paintings all around the house let me know if you noticed them and they're all the paintings that i managed to get and fit in here so anyways thank you all for watching this video i really hope you all enjoyed it i enjoyed it as well and i'll see you in the next video bye